Anyone else scared to death to take Christian McCaffrey at the top of their draft this season? Just something in my gut. Got some fire in my gut that's telling me I, I just cannot do it. I have to target someone else at the top instead. We'll talk about that player, but I know I can't be the only one. Other people have to be thinking this as well. What scares me about Christian McCaffrey? Well, number one, right now, today, he is dealing with a calf strain, and he will miss the preseason, and it's not devastating news. Him missing the preseason, it's not that big of a deal. A player like that, uh, that talented of a player, doesn't need to play in the preseason. It's better that he doesn't. But I know it's got to scare some people that you see that in your timeline. Now he's dealing with the calf strain. Mm, like, is that something that's going to get better right away? Something that's going to pop back up? But overall, this may not look like news that could make you worry. But it goes a little deeper than that. And you have to go back to December 31st at the end of this past season. Uh, he was dealing with the calf strain. Same calf strain. So, so that this popping up again actually makes it a little scarier, a lot scarier because, you know, done with football right after dealing with that calf strain, then boom, they're starting actual practice right now. And he's right away. He's dealing with it once again. So it makes you wonder, is this a thing that is going to continue to pop up throughout the year? Because it's something that he still hasn't got over from at the end of last season. So it does make you worry a little bit. And then just think of the running back position, uh, you know, just taking hits left and right, and boom, out of nowhere, running backs kind of fall off the face of the earth. It's not, McCaffrey's too talented to fall off the face of the earth, but all of a sudden they're dealing with injuries, and you look at the injuries that he's had over uh, his career. You guys know an early portion of his of his career, we knew he could be the top running back in football, but he wasn't yet because he couldn't stay healthy. Then recently, he's staying healthy. He's the top back in football. That makes it even scarier, Like almost like he's due. And I'm not going to sit here and predict him to get injured but he is viewed by many as a higher risk this season. You know, dealing with that calf strain and just... Ha is, he's been a guy over the course of his career that just dealt with injury. So something after the wear and tear of last season is kind of bound to kind of pop up. But one of my favorite players in the league, I, you know, I hope he stays healthy. I do think for the most part he'll be healthy this year. But my thinking is, got this guy that... There's, there's a lot of risk in it, and an injury could pop up out of nowhere, and this is another player that I like that much more. But take a look at some trends for Christian McCaffrey that I've noticed last year. So these are the regular season games last year, and then the attempts slash carries that he had. I noticed something interesting, fully fresh, fully healthy at the beginning of the year. You see 22, 20, whatever carries. And then as you get closer to the bye, so closer to week eight, week nine, he is getting less and less carries. And then the bye week hits time to rest time you know time to heal and then boom he's getting more carries again and then as that towards the end of the year it started to kind of go downhill again so will it be and even with that season though he was still one of the top guys but does that trend continue is there more wear now can they you know with Brock Purdy and him elevating as a passer are they going to and they're them not being able to get over the hump, you know, as a Super Bowl winning team and knowing it's a passing league. You know, Patrick Mahomes is, you know, throwing the ball to, to win Super Bowls. Do they kind of gear a little bit more towards passing the ball? Bro Brock Purdy uh, and seeing what he could be, you know, become and is he worth the contract? So that also scares me a little bit. Just something in my gut, you know, telling me those things. Uh, the guy that I'm going to be targeting, top of the draft, if I, I'm going to take him first, and this is PPR or half PPR. Uh, if I can get him, I'm going to take him first. If I am the second, third, fourth, somehow get him there, I am taking C.D. Lamb. Uh, he was the top receiver last year. I had him in my main league last year. I was thrilled with him you know, over the course of the season. And something that people do not talk about is that he legit got better. I know many people say that, like, yeah, he produced more. Um, you know, this is already a talented guy and he just was a little more consistent. I get, I think it's way more than that. Like with his talent, with his knowledge for the game, if you watch, he legit got better as the year went on. And that is a big thing for me. Like, you know, he's already a really good player, but he kind of re relied a little bit on scheming things up maybe versus zone coverage. And then against really good man coverage guys in the past, maybe he wouldn't be that consistent, but something Something changed throughout last year, maybe the second half of last year, and, and he was man, zone, any type of corner, any type of safety, 
um, you know, press. He was beating them. He was winning deep downfield, underneath, you know, behind the line of scrimmage, over the middle of the field, in traffic. Um, incredible catches. Oh, he caught, I thought he caught the ball more consistently as well. So it was more than just him getting more fantasy points, him getting better stats. He legit got better and smarter at, at the game of football. And that is a phenomenal look, especially for fantasy football going forward for this season. And you see his games last year, you see his fantasy points. Um, but Two things that I really like here, the snap percentage. We already knew that he was one of the best, uh, probably, you know, he was the best uh, weapon for for Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, but, you know, you'll see, you would think he would be getting, you know, the top snap percentages every week for Dallas, but he really didn't early on. He definitely got a lot, you know, uh, enough to for him to still be the top performer, the top weapon. But uh, I noticed that trend as the year went on. He got more and more snaps, and the targets is what really stands out to me. I mean, you got random games like four, and then a great one, but then seven, six underwhelming games, and then down here you have a consistent huge number. So everything up here just backs that he got better. It wasn't just you know, the game plan, well, the game plan was, you know, getting him the ball for a reason. Dak was looking to, you know, seeing him open more for a reason because the guy was legit getting better. So I see a trend. I see him continuing off that and becoming more of a consistent elite player and offensive player of the year candidate, which I thought he should have been more of last year. Not McCaffrey deserved to win that. Uh, but I, I think he's that, you know, thinking of going back to Oklahoma, uh, C.D. Lamb, like he's supposed to be this guy, and now he is turning the corner and becoming that guy. I mean, some of some of those games he had at the end of last year, it's just a guy that I absolutely have to have again, and he is most definitely worth uh, a pick, you know, towards the top. And uh, another factor you, for any fantasy player, you have to kind of look at the rest of the team. Well, first, you know, it, is the quarterback good enough to get him the ball? Absolutely. Is this team going to pass enough? Absolutely. So you have to look at those things when it comes to receivers, of course. And, and the Cowboys and CeeDee Lamb, Dak Prescott, they, you know, check those boxes, of course. But you also look at, you know, will, will you know, that receiver get opportunities taken away from him? Is the team going to go to a new running back more? Are they going to run the ball more? Are they going to throw to other big-time targets more? And I actually see the opposite with, with the Dallas Cowboys. And the Cowboys realize that at the end of last year why he got much more snaps because he's that good of a player, he's that important, and why he got much more targets because he is by far their best player. They already knew he was their best offensive player, but it was by far. Jake Ferguson, a pretty good tight end option. He's going to continue to get better. He's going to get some targets, a tight end. Brandon Cooks declining a little bit. Still a solid player. He's not going to get any better. Obviously, they move on from Michael Gallup. Uh, then you have Rico Dowdo, who I actually think will be their top running back. But there's no more t Tony Pollard, who some view as one of the best pass-catching backs in football. That's why he went to C Callahan's team in Tennessee, coming from the Bengals, Callahan, that is. They want to throw the ball. They got a pass-catching back. Uh, but So that, that takes receptions away from Tony Pollard, but also takes run plays away. If you're going from Tony Pollard to Rico Dowdle and, and Zeke, I'm thinking you might run the ball less, and therefore you're passing the ball more, and therefore you're getting your best player, C.D. Lamb, who is uh, just taking off more and more. You're getting him more targets, more reps. He's going to catch the ball. He's going to make big-time plays. Um, so that's really all that means. And then that's just three guys, and there's really only one. And, um, you know, Cook to be better than expected. Dottle definitely, I think, will be better than expected. But um, Cook's maybe. You know, these – these aren't options that are going to be like consistently targeted over and over again. And then you got the guys behind them, Zeke, Turpin, Tolbert. And again, maybe a guy like Tolbert could step up, but the nobody is taking opportunities away. Nobody is sharing with CD lamb. This is CD lamb's team. And then, and that kind of brings up my next thing is people might be, people actually might be more worried about lamb than Christian McCaffrey right now at the top might be worried more about lamb than Tyreek Hill. When, you know, with some of his injuries that pop up because he doesn't have a contract, he is holding out and needs a contract. It's something to monitor, but I am, I'm not worried about it. Uh, they, they are focused on CD lamb. They, they know what they got in CD lamb. They are focused more on him 
than Dak, Dak Prescott. There is a decent chance that Dak, Dak Prescott could be someone else's quarterback next year. But Lamb, the talent that he is, how much better he got, the more involved they got him. We already broke that down, the snap share, uh, the, 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 the targets. Uh, he is their best offensive player. They know it. They are going to pay him. They're just trying to figure out that number right now. Uh, I believe they're going to get something done. It's not a guy that also is. I, I don't think he's going to sit on the sideline during regular season football. Um, you know, he's he's chasing uh, much more than just the numbers, and he knows what he can be. So, um, just too good of a talent, elite talent, about to be. You know, about to be. You know, I think a lot of people think he's elite talent, but more people are about to be saying he's an elite talent. Uh, you know, with this season, and he's going to continue where he left off. So, um, this is a player that I'm really excited about. It, it's a sure thing. Sure thing, he's going to get catches. He's going to get yards after the catch. He's going to get the splash plays. He's going to get touchdowns. He is the guy for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, you know, if let's say you're a Christian McCaffrey guy, I mean, we all are. I, I sure am. But if you're in terms of fantasy drafting him first draw, you're you're not worried at all about the injuries. You're just a Christian McCaffrey guy. You're standard league. You take him first. I'm not saying you have to. You absolutely have to change your mind because of me. I'm giving you my takes. Uh, my gut. My gut's usually kind of right um you know so if i if my guts tell me take cd lamb one you take them i take them you know so just kind of giving you my thoughts here uh more fantasy videos beyond the way but Brees hall is another guy that i really like he beat me up at the end of the year last year i think Bijan takes another leap uh breakout players you're always looking for those breakout players and then we actually have a video that just went up recently with the biggest breakout player from every single NFL team. So one to check out, but a lot more content on the way. Uh, and then content that in season content that I, I just cannot wait for. We do it every single year, weekly picks, score predictions, uh, picks against the spread, uh, power rankings, and much more. So hopefully you join us, uh, check out our sponsor, liquid IV code goat for percentage off. There's more interesting links, uh, important links, you know, pinned down low. Uh, so check it all out. But that is going to do it for this one. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.